France's left-wing New Popular Front has started discussions on how best to form a new government after coming first in the second round of the legislative elections on Sunday. It's going to be the start of a long process given the bloc does not have an overall majority and the choice of Prime Minister is also going to be significant with a number of the parties jostling for influence. And one figure who has risen to prominence over the past month is Green Party leader Marine Tondelier. And she spoke on Monday and let's hear what she had to say. We have to succeed. It's that simple. There are always solutions in front of us. We were here four weeks ago. Everyone was saying it's never going to work. And why is this program taking so long? You've been working on it for 24 hours. Well, yes, it's a program for France, so it will take at least a few days. So finding a solution to govern this country in an unprecedented political situation, well, it's not that we're not ready. It's because it's unprecedented. It's going to take some time. And for more on this, I can bring in Olivia Polsky, who is a deputy mayor of Paris and a socialist member of the city council here in the French capital. Uh, good morning, Olivia. This is good a situation morning. unprecedented in the Fifth Republic. And what are the options for the new popular front to form a government? Well, we, we were the first, so we are able to propose a prime minister. And uh, we have already a uh, common platform, and then we are discussing uh, with, because we are four uh, parties in that uh, left wing coalition. So uh, we will propose a prime minister name, and um, I hope uh, because the French people ask for a change that uh, we will have uh, the possibility to pass a mem. Um, some reforms uh, about the purchase power and uh, the retirement um, reform too. So uh, we will give a name till the end of the, the, the week, I think. And the New Popular Front has been relatively united in this election. Um, just weeks after all of the factions faced off against each other in the European elections. But is the choice of selecting a prime minister, is that going to be divisive, do you think? I don't think so. I think we will find a name easily. We are responsible. I mean, it's a historical moment. We know that the far right had uh, their, has its uh, historical um, score. Uh, uh, so we have to be responsible. And we know that the French people are waiting for, uh, for us. Otherwise, in 2027, the far right will pass. And uh, both uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon uh, of La France Insoumise and Olivier Faure of the Socialist Party have said that they will not compromise on the new Popular Front's programme. But how realistic is this? Will a minority government be able to get much done in cohabitation, as we call it here in France, with Emmanuel Macron's presidency? Well, we will have to discuss with the others, of course, but uh, we were elected for uh, a change. So we need to find uh, to, to send a message, uh, a strong message of change. So we have uh, some reforms we want to pass. And of course, we will have to discuss them. And the national rally was seen off on Sunday, but it... it did reasonably well all the same. Its vote held up and it managed to get a record number of MPs uh, elected. So what is the left's best hope of stemming the far right's rise in the three years leading up to the 2027 presidential election? Well, uh, we, want, we do have, we, sh we should not uh, deceive the people, uh, otherwise she will pass. So that's why Emmanuel Macron has to listen to what happened, because if he's still arrogant, arrogant it, he, they will pass. So we will have to succeed in some uh, mes social messages, I'm sure, and uh, social messages and, of course, about the security, which is another point um, important. And uh, will the respective parties in the new popular front be using this as a trial run for that presidential race in 2027? Can we expect to see that unity three years down the line? Well, we'll see. It's, uh, it's quite difficult. We will have to discuss with the others and uh, it's hard to, to, to answer now. OK, thank you very much for that. Olivia Polsky of the Socialist Party and a deputy mayor of Paris. Thank you.